Hi, dear parents. I'm Dr. Chin Wai Xiang. I'm consultant pediatrician. In my day-to-day -day clinic practice, other than the upper airway infection, the second most common is a gut problem. The parent will say the child always have a poor appetite or very poor weight gain, which we will elaborate further. Right? Actually, it's a due to the unhealthy gut. What are the parents should look for the significant symptom that indicate the underlying unhealthy gut? First, for example, like diarrhea, okay, acute diarrhea. Then second will be the constipation. Generally, I would like to tell you that the child should pass motion at least once a day, uh, which is considered normal. The third, of course, the child has a poor weight gain. When you compare with the same age of the children, Let's say your children have uh, you know, relatively smaller or relatively a bit inactive, physically a bit unfit, okay? So you should seek for advice from the doctors. Another the mood uh, symptom that can be is uh, emotional stress. Your diarrhea can cause dehydration in the children's body, okay? They are going to lose a lot of fluid and electrolyte. Never allow your children has a constipation in their lifetime. Once they have a phobia to strain, okay, they will tend to hold the stool inside their lectern. They might not have a good quality of sleep. They might have a poor concentration on the study. Emotionally or behaviorally, maybe more irritable. So I think it's a kind of a correlated, you know, you have a healthy gut, you have a healthy being.